water. The only element I know that brings life, but if you also drink too much of it, it will also bring death. You're fucked either way with water. So if meth is a double-edged sword, then it's just that, you know, there's far, far less of all of that than you're going to be able to take up uh, this water over here. Pretty sad when the fucking guy overdoses a uh, fucking drink of water. And they, uh, he was on ecstasy, but he didn't die of the ecstasy. He died from fucking drinking too much water. Too much water. Or dancing too much. Just dancing and dancing and never stop dancing. But Jesus Christ, you've been going for three hours. And maybe you should go down and fucking sign it. Get a little bit of air and drink some water. Fucking, you know, pour a fucking. Fucking Gatorade, like freezing cold Gatorade, all the uh, just, just make sure your spinal fluid doesn't boil over. Or, you know, it's fucking your brain actually does end up like that fucking frying egg on the frying pan, you know. But you know, common sense, right? Com common sense. We, you know, we have no common sense nowadays. You, know? you can't see sort of a solution there, you know, formula for a uh, fucking heart reduction or actually, you know, knowing what the fuck you're doing, I don't know, it just seems, you know, he, he said just say, no, now look, now look, now look, we got fucking tent to your fucking fentanyl, fucking sin, fucking, there's tinfoil everywhere, just put it this way. Fucking, uh, Cambridge is starting to look like a fucking, like a, like a, like a fucking landfill. With tinfoil and like a, dude, I, I seen a fucking, uh, vibrator on a rock today. I was walking through. There's just stiff stuff everywhere. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that was it. I seen that. Uh, there's just stuff all over the place. I said, this is, uh, yeah. It's looking like Detroit over here. It's like Skid Row. But in Canada, in Cambridge, so there you go. It's just scattered all over the place. Air tanks. The most random things you'll ever you'll, you'll be like, what the fuck? There's glasses on a tree. There you go. So somebody had a good night, but Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Is it? What is up with the trash trips that they're having? You know, they're just like, they're just like leaving out like a trail of trash everywhere they fucking go. Yeah? It's fucking crazy. Fuck, you don't see me doing that shit. I don't know. I don't know. Man. If part of your trip is picking your fucking face off, then you, know, you can do that. You know, you know pick, pick away, my friend. You know, I, I, we all get carried away sometimes. But holy fuck! Look, like, look at me. I think I got carried away a little bit. Yeah, you know, anybody else? Like, See, he's a demon. Look if there's a demon you know, all this is stupid shit. I'm just like, yo, man, you're a fucking idiot. Just please shut up. Please stop. It's not a demon. It's a fucking drug, okay? Are th is there a possibility that you you know, you might be open to getting possessed by an entity under the influence of Yeah, but you should have known that before, beforehand, that is. You know? You know there, there's no such thing. You gotta go to a shaman, you know. Why don't you just learn, learn about shamanism and become your own shaman? That's kind of simple. You don't need to go to the fucking rainforest. Do you really need to go to the rainforest? Do you really need to go through all that shit? Yeah, it's like the traditional fucking, I don't know, but I, I'm pretty fucking, pretty fucking uh, confident in my ability to fucking bring somebody out of a bad trip and sometimes you just gotta let them go through the shit. If you can't have a bad trip, on the psychedelics, then you shouldn't be doing them because they're not for fun. You know, you like, can have some fun on them, but no, this is not really what these things are for. So, escaping reality is kind of out of the question, especially when I got a fucking bad trip fucking coming at you 100 miles per hour and there's no escaping it except for you're riding it out. And uh, that 12 hours, you know, felt like a fucking whole fucking, what, uh, what is it, like a fucking whole uh, three, four aeons or like. You just like a never ending fucking and then when you finally come out of it you like you're like oh thank god jesus christ i thought i was trapped there forever so how the fuck does that 
uh, compared to dealing with sobriety. So I don't know. Like you guys can figure that one out later. 